Hey guys, this is Gaudens and welcome to our tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to render with the IPR rendering, okay? Interactive rendering with the IPR. Now, IPR means, uh, IPR stands for Interactive Photorealistic Rendering. Now, in Maya, when working in Maya, there's a lot of times where you have to tweak the texture, tweak the color, tweak the shadows, tweak this, tweak that. All those 5, 10, 15 seconds add up, by the end of the day, there'll be an hour to two hours. You don't want that. Now, the best way to avoid all that trouble is using the IPR. You can get to the IPR using one of the two ways. I'm going to show you the first way. The first way to get to the IPR is to just to make sure you're in uh, rendering. Go up, render, you find the IPR on here. That's one way. The second way is to simply just click on the IPR on here. So we're going to go for the second way. Click on the IPR. Then when you click on the IPR, you you render the scene because this scene is pretty uh, fast. You it, it's a, a small scene. It will just render quickly. But what Maya does is uh, it renders the scene but saves a lot of parameters on the disk. So all the parameters are on the disk, all right? So we can actually left click and drag. Um, area that we want to render, want to change, okay? We can click, drag, let's say we want to change the um, texture of that to um, just a Lambert material. We can change that and it will change in here automatically. We can also change the color of that. Let's say we want to make it green, we'll be able to make it green. And if we're not happy with green, we can simply just take, make it, so we can click on the picker and just pick on that. It will be back to normal. So. That's how that works. And the other thing that I need to point out is that uh, you can also uh, change the light. So if we go to um, this um, light, we know, we, know, we know that it's a spotlight and it's called uh, Spotlight Shape 1. Okay, we can look at that spotlight, zoom in, because uh, yeah, we can zoom in and also change the shadow color. We can change the shadow color of um, this B and as well as change the intensity of the spotlight. Okay, we can change the intensity of the spotlight to whatever it is that we actually desire. We can also change the color of the spotlight. We can change the color to whatever color we want. Not that it will look natural, but we can still do it. Now we'll take it back to white, which is natural. Now, one of the other things that um, my Maya can IPR won't be able to. One of the things that IPR won't be able to pick up is um, things like the resolution. Right now, it's nice and crisp. Okay, well, let me make it nice and crisp. Well, right now we can see that, but when we bring it up, we can't see anything. Okay, right now, look at the pay attention to the shadow. If I bring it up to low resolution, you'll be able to you think, oh, there's barely a shadow, there's just a little shadow underneath seeing something, but it doesn't actually show exactly what it is. So, uh, the only way you can actually see the shadow after bringing it to as low as 16 is to actually IPR it again or simply render it again. There you go, you see a little shadow at the bottom, but that's, as much, that's pretty much what you can see. So that's um, IPR for you guys. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe for more. And uh, if you're already subscribed, even though you're not subscribed, please give me a thumbs up. I'll be waiting for maybe 20 thumbs up tomorrow morning. I've never had anything more than six thumbs up, more than nine thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up so I can have 10 thumbs up tomorrow morning. So yep, thank you very much for watching the tutorial guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.